Welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be new, and this is Hamami by Novalotta. The scent notes on this are saffron, bergamot, pettigrain, jasmine absolute, geranium, wet stone, sandalwood, and tonka bean. I'm not sure if it's wet stone, like you sharpen swords or knives with, or wet stone, as meaning like wet rock. I don't know. But the scent on this... I find quite a lot of his scents are quite powdery. This one is definitely there. I like it quite a lot. It's very nice. Uh, the way I would describe it is a fresh floral scent. The wet stone adds this degree of dampness, and I think that might have been what he was going for. Yeah, it's really nice. It, what, what it reminds me of in terms of imagery, imagine a garden with lots of flowers, fr with fresh rain. That's what it smells like to me. It's very nice. Uh, one of the nicer recent scents he's released. My razor of choice today is going to be the Tatara Massimune. Uh, this is the standard, like I have I posted before with the uh, Barrister Man Nordis soap, but I'm going to be using the, um, the OC plate today. And inside that is going to be a first use pulse silver blade. Gutted they've been discontinued, but it is what it is. Okay, and my brush of choice is going to be the, the Poseidon brush by Turn and Shave, and inside that is a 28mm V3 tip knot. Let's take the glasses off. In fact, we're going to keep the glasses on for a bit. Let's load the uh, let's load the soap here, and we will get to shaving. So, how are you guys? I'm not I'm not doing too bad. Um, I've probably got about 24 hours of growth. I'm so used to shaving with this soap base. I've shaved, have I shaved with this more than I have any other? Maybe, this is possible. I have a, quite a lot of Noblotta soaps. I mean, I don't have more Noblotta soap, Otto soaps than any other vendor, but it's more, I think I've got more uses on his soaps than any others. Because my favorite scent, as you guys probably know by now, is from Noblotta. It's loading very easily here, as his soap always does. I think he's planning a reformulation, actually, like everyone else under the sun. And the reformulation uh, is due to happen after this soap, I think. At least he's reformulated, and All that means is the next release that isn't this one will be in his new base. Curious to try that. I don't know how much testing he's done on it. But Cody's a good guy and he's pretty damn easy to deal with in every every facet. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that as a load. Absolutely loads from the brush. This stuff loads very, very easily. And that's always been a uh, characteristic I like a lot about Noblotta. Now we can take the glasses off. Okay, let's wet the face and we'll lather up. So this soap has always been very easy to deal with for me. Is this paper? A bit of paper, that might be mine. I don't know. That's really odd. These the soap has always been really easy to deal with for me. One of the easiest soaps, kind of good good soaps to use in my opinion. Can take a lot of water. And you guys know how I feel about that. For everyone that uh, hasn't seen it yet, my first podcast with Heather has been released over at the Razorburn podcast. I will put a link to the episode in this video for you to check out. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. Also appreciate a subscription. We've got some fantastic guests lined up. 
So we look forward to bringing you that. The soap base is pretty firm. No blotter soap base. The scent strength on this is probably around mid. Five to six. Cody is one of the few soap makers that perfumes all of his scents. So nothing is kind of made out of pre-blended oils or anything. He does everything himself. If it's a release, he's collaborated with someone else. As far as I'm aware, he pretty much always chooses other perfumers too. So that's also quite unique. I mean, he's done dupes in the past, but um, I think he's completely abandoned the idea of dupes. So everything you get from him are gonna be original perfume scents. Noble Otter has consistently been one of my favorite artisans since I started. And he has this, so I'm getting a lot more of the whetstone actually when it's lathered up, a lot more of the whetstone. He has this um, constant level of evolution with his scent making. And I really like that. Yeah, this, this stuff is just so easy to work with. When I don't use it for a while, I often forget just how easy it is to work with. Just really easy. It creates a lot of volume, as you can see, and my I hate the, uh, as good old Michael Friedberg says, he hates when you get that water dripping down your arm. <laughs> That's our next guest on the podcast. It's going to be good old Michael Friedberg, one of my favorite video makers, and it's going to be fun uh, chatting with him. And ultimately, our, our goal for this isn't interviewing, it's chatting. We don't want to interview anyone, we just want to have a conversation with people. The first episode was just me and Heather to kind of dip our feet in the water. And uh, then we'll go from here. See, I didn't splay the brush too much, as far as I'm, con as far as I'm concerned. And frankly, the volume in this is already above average, it's got very nice density too. Very nice density, so, I mean, it's, I've never, I've always considered it as one of my favorite soap bases. That coupled with scents makes Cody one of my favorite artisans. I've been told that a lot of people aren't a big fan of this scent, which is weird to me because it's pretty similar to some of the stuff, like he has his own flavor and This is really nice. This is really nice. Well, okay, we're gonna start painting water in a minute. I've got the... Cool, okay, so let's start painting some water in. Um, this base can really take water. Well, so I'd say the consistency is almost pretty much there, which is a testament of how easy this is to work with. And what it, what it honestly is, is a lot of the new bases, I've said before, and I'll say this again, are finicky. They, they can't take enough water or they take too much water. And I know I say I like bases that are easy to dial in, but there's easy to dial in. And there's the time it takes to dial in, and they're two different things for me. Like, I would say Talbot shaving is easy to dial in. Coupled with that, it really doesn't take long either, which is the advantage of that for me. Set more water here, and I think we're good to go.
See, to me, that is a good lather. That's a very good lather, look. Very wet, but dense and hydrated. Very nice, wonderful soap, like I've said. Consistently one of my favorites to use. Okay, so this is my first time using this OC. Um, I have a bit of experience with open combs, but much more experience with safety bar raises. So let's, let's give it a whirl, shall we? A bit more blade fill. And I would actually also argue a different shaving angle. A much more obtuse angle. As opposed to, I would say a shallow angle of the safety bar. It's noticeable. So the interesting thing here is if I look at like the uh, home like start razor, I would say the uh, it shaves pretty similarly to the safety bar. I think this is actually quite a lot different in terms of experience. Which to be honest, I actually give kudos to this because it's a different experience, and to be honest, I think it should be. Like, I think our, uh, and I think it ultimately comes down to head geometry. I don't, I don't think it lends for as much slickness. Um, I think the, and it might be because of the shape of the teeth. But I think the safety bar does a better job at gliding across your skin. Similar blade edge control, which like I've said in previous videos recently, indicates good blade clamping. Don't get me wrong, this is a mild razor, like regardless of the base plate you use, but it's more noticeable. Very interesting. It's quite an interesting experience. Fantastic soap, as expected. Let's carry on here, let's lather up again. Loads of lather left in the brush. I'm so used to using this soap base that I really know how to dial it in. It can take a little bit more water, so we're gonna do that. This 
this is a really nice scent. I would say it's pretty similar. Once lathered as well, it doesn't change too much. Which works for me because I really like the scent. I love the consistency of the lather um, Revolta produces. Do I think he needs to reformulate? Not at all. Not at all. I hope a lot of the characteristics remain the same because I, I like how this soap works. Is it the slickest soap? It's very slick. Is it slick enough? Yeah. <laughs> Way more than slick enough. People get fantastic shaves out of Parasso, for God's sake. So, it's way more than slick enough. Really, really nice leather. I like how this soap performs. Okay, let's go cross grain here. I'd say the cutting angle is definitely more noticeable in this pass. I'd say it is less comfortable to shave with though. by a lot but it's definitely it's more noticeable because I don't have any built up muscle memory with that safety bar it is more efficient I would say So something that um, the mass immune and the death, well, the mass immune can do the safety bar is, is of how mild it is. I can find that I can go comfortably against the grain. I don't know if that's the case with this, honestly. And for me, because of that, I would, I would say I much prefer the safety bar variant. I mean, it comes down to apples and oranges. Like, what do you prefer? But like, if you want a more aggressive shave from this razor, I would definitely recommend that. Let's try and hug the top cap a bit. That does feel better. Means you're dulling a little bit of that efficiency. Okay, let's have a fill around. I'm gonna take it easy here, I don't wanna overshade. Kind of here. I always leave a bit of stubble here because this part, as you can see, is always red. It's just always irritated. 
and a bit here. So we're gonna go along the jawline again, which is my coarsest hair, which is kind of like here and here. does not feel as smooth. I can tell you that much already. I think that is the shame. I mean, it's done its job, I, I can't deny that, but... I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as comfortable as the uh, safety bar. Let's see what it's like here. Hug the top cap. I did a decent job there. I don't know. Very odd. It doesn't shave badly, I can tell you that. It shaves very well. But I would say the um, safety bar shaves better for me, in terms of my preference anyway. I like a certain type of face fill. Loads of leftover soap. Try to be itchy nose. It's the worst. Okay, let's uh, tidy up the gear a bit and uh, we'll rinse this off and get to the post shave. I'm gonna run the cold water for a bit here just so it can actually get cold because it takes forever. I like this set. I like this scent on it. I'm always gonna like the performance of Mobile Auto. This is a win-win for me. Uh, like I said, there are a lot of people that I don't think like this scent, but I, I, I enjoy it. It's, uh, I'm partial to floral scents. I do like floral scents, so that's not bad for me. Okay, we're done with the... Uh Deal with the razor in a bit. Let's rinse the face and we'll get into the power. So, I like this splash. It isn't one of my favorites. I think it can turn a wee bit too much alcohol for me. Just a little bit too much. But that's solely down to preference, really. not a huge fan of that big alcohol hit. Some guys are and that's fair enough, but it, it doesn't uh, really do it for me. There's a little bit of a smell of alcohol with this and this kind of annoys me. It's gonna be a burn, I can tell you that. Yeah. Better than some. worse than others. I am going to use a bomb because uh, the alcohol does not do too well for my skin. It leaves my skin feeling a little bit inflamed, I have to say. But uh, 
the Poche fail of it, because there's it's not just alcohol and fragrance, there's some good stuff in there, is good, but I like to use a bomb. It's soothing after that, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna use the uh my favorite uh my favorite bomb, which is the Zingari bomb. I love this stuff. <clears throat> Get a couple of squirts here. thing I really do like about this bomb is it's genuinely unscented. So you don't get the smell of the base of the bomb, which does really, really annoy me when that happens. Okay, that's a great shape. Uh, let's recap and I'll let all you guys go. It's a bit of a long one today. I apologize for the length. Okay, so my soap of choice was Hamami by Noble Otto. Let me show you that label again. Um, kudos to Cody once again. His presentation remains some of the best. I love this label. The kind of like off shiny gold around the edges is beautiful. The razor of choice was the Tatara Masamune uh, with the OC plate. Probably. It's not as good for me, it's not as comfortable a shave, and ultimately if I'm using that razor, that is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a comfortable shave. I don't think it's anywhere near as comfortable as the SB. If you like, slightly more blade fill, and I would recommend that one. If you want something that can... I mean, I have pretty sensitive skin on my neck. I mean, as you can see, I was, bit, I was careful, and it's still a little bit red. Um, if you want something that you can comfortably shave with daily, I'd stick with the SP. I've used OCs in different razors, and for me, they've been much better than that. Uh, just my honest opinion. My brush of choice was the Poseidon brush by my good old friend Milton at Turn and Shave. I love this brush. This is not as lovely too. And my post was, whoops, was the Matching Splash Hamami. And my favorite balm, which is Zingari Man's Unscented Balm. So that's your shave today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said at the start of the video, or kind of when I was lathering up, please check out the podcast. Putting some effort into that. Also, sometime this week, uh, I'm going to upload this on Thursday. So it might even be before that. You'd have seen a giveaway video. The stipulations of that I've still not thought about yet. So I will have those within the video. But yeah, stick around for that. Going to be a fantastic giveaway watch the podcast or listen to the podcast we're on itunes well we will be on itunes we're on spotify we're on stitcher we're on youtube lots of places for you to, to view it we've got some fantastic guests lined up too as i said i'll leave all, all of the stuff in the description below if you know around here and haven't yet subscribed please consider doing so i very much appreciate it apart from that wherever you are in the world my name is jack your host from the virtual grim room goodbye for now and have a lovely day all of you. Goodbye.